this is Carol Harnett with a one take work, love, play, daily video blog. And what I'm thinking about today is why is it so hard to tell the truth? And since this video blog post is related to the HR executive benefits column that I wrote, which is put up this week on Tuesday, I have to say for FCC regs uh, that I am hired and paid by HR executive to write that column, nor, although they do not require me to do this blog post, uh, nor do they edit it or influence it in any way. That said, in my uh, column, I revealed something which has been known within the disability insurance industry and the third-party administrator industry for years, which is that when you integrate the short and long-term disability, the long-term disability incidence goes up. Um, the parlance or the way people would say that in insurance is that the experience worsens um, on LTD, long-term disability. So why is this such a big deal that I'm telling you? And it's because, I get from a couple reasons. One is that the industry, um, prior to me being in it, had made a really good hypothesis, which is that if you integrated short and long-term disability claim management, that the duration of short-term disability absences should go down because you would manage them. And then in turn, the long-term disability claim incidents would go down as well because people would be coming back to work sooner or the claim would be ending sooner and very, very logical hypothesis. The reality is it never happened, it just never happened. And nobody really knows for sure why. This problem has been looked at by every carrier and third party administrator for, I'm actually gonna tell you more than a decade and probably close to, getting close to two decades. Um, you know, there's some hypothesis that it's because when you have the same carrier administer both the short and long-term disability. Um, the short-term disability period and the first one to two years of long-term disability are usually what's called the same definition of disability, which is own occupation. And so if a carrier or a third-party administrator has approved a claim for the duration of short-term disability under the own occupation definition, how do you deny it in long-term disability, even if the claim probably should have been closed sooner on short-term? There's some people who call it the starvation factor. So for example, when you compare long-term disability for an employer who only offers long-term disability and doesn't have a short-term disability plan, doesn't have salary continuation and a paid time off program that would take somebody out for 13 or 26 weeks, that there's a starvation factor, meaning that people just simply go back to work during what would be the short-term disability period and then the long-term, obviously, disability incidence goes down. And so that's another hypothesis that floats around. And, and there are others, but those are probably the major ones. So when we get underneath this, why is this such a big deal that I wrote this down and I actually said it out loud? And I think there's a few reasons that come to me immediately. One is that in the case of disability benefits, the employers and the, pro the benefits producers, meaning brokers and consultants, you know, banked a lot too on this hypothesis that it works. And it seems like there might be something wrong with the carrier or the third party administrator, if that's indeed the experience, and they're more likely to move the case. And, um, and so it's it, you, if you are an HR person or a benefits producer, you may make it harder. Um, there's a second reason why it might be hard to tell the truth, and that's if you are a carrier who's, who's getting your income through insured premium, and we tell you that if you put both the short and long-term disability with us, that the long-term disability isn't gonna run as well, we lose money because maybe an intelligent follow-up hypothesis is to place the short-term back with somebody else and the long-term with a different carrier and, and then see what happens. Um, and the third reason might be just because we don't know. Now, in short and long-term disability for the you know, third-party administrators and the disability insurers, that's not true. But in other cases where we find it hard to tell the truth, we simply don't know because we simply don't measure it. So this is Carol Hornet with a one-take work, love, play, daily video blog saying that let's get underneath and make it easier for people to start to tell the truth so that we can move forward in intelligent ways and try to remove our emotions as much as we can. I hope under the guise of the Work Love Play Daily video blog that you're going to have a great work day today, that you're going to get to enjoy some great love, and that you don't forget to play. Thanks.